Hello again, welcome back. We are not on Funland today. We are obviously off to work here at Happy Home Paradise Planning. I am just scanning the beach to see who's visiting today. Oh, you are cute. So many cute characters today. I'm excited to see what they want for houses. We're gonna head in and see Lottie get changed into our uniform. See what's on the agenda for today. While I'm heading in, it's a good time to leave a like and subscribe and hit the notification bell because you don't want to miss any of this. Now let's get right to work. Good morning, Poppy. Good morning, Lottie. Oh, look at the stuff. I need to make money. I have like no pokey left because I shop every time I'm here, but I really want that little cart. So let's not wait. Let's just get to work. What's up? Are you looking for some work? Yes. Okay, then please change into your uniform. Done. Ready. Let's rock. Ooh, great news, Poppy. We just got permission to start work on our next facility. Oh, I'm excited. Actually, it's even better. We're set to build out two facilities, thanks in part to all of your great work. Awesome! We do have to choose one to start with, of course. What do you prefer between a restaurant and a cafe? Should we start with a restaurant or should we start with a cafe? We have to do both. Let's, um... I'm trying to think. They'll both bring in lots of new visitors, so it's a really tough choice. A beautiful restaurant on Main Street or a beachfront cafe. Ah, oh, it's too hard to decide. Ooh, let's do the cafe first and then move our way into restaurant. So you think we should start with the cafe? I think you're right. Folks need a place for a quick break, right? Let's head out to the site and get started right away. Oh, I'm excited. Here we are, a cute little cafe will be perfect here. And look at the potential water view. Well, enough daydreaming. Now we need to actually build it. Oh, I'm excited. We can start on the exterior design while Nico and Wardell focus on setting up a beachfront dining area. Okay. What do we want it to look like roof-wise? Do we want a pink roof? I kind of love the pink roof. The gray is kind of blah, black's kind of blah. I'm kind of feeling the pink roof. With pink siding or white siding or... Ooh, I kind of like that. Oh, so, I like that better. Let's go with the door. Should we do a pink door or a gray door? I think gray door or darker gray? Well, I guess that's white. <laughs> a white door. I'm calling it a gray door. It kind of looks gray. The gray door, though, I think that's where we're going. Oh, and the awning we can do, too. Should we do pink to pull it all together? That's what I'm thinking. Brick? No. No, no, no. We're going to go with the pink stripe and confirm. Is this okay for the exterior? Yep. I love it. Great, it looks wonderful with that taken care of. Let's head inside. I'm excited. All right, now we've got to work on making the interior cute and cozy. Be sure to press and look at the order tab to see all the requirements. Okay, now beyond just the basic requirements, it's so important to get the feel of the place right. That's where great lighting comes in. Oh, you can press over to access custom lighting options. Yes, I knew that. You can change both the color and the intensity of the lighting. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Design a cafe. Okay, we have our basic concrete wall and floor set up here. I have a few ideas. So I'm going to go into decorating mode and we'll see what comes up. This is what we have come up with for our cafe, and I'm absolutely in love with it. Really simpy, or simple coffee shop wall, the cute flooring, a couple of desks, one with the register, a little bag of groceries on the side, lots and lots of seating, plants, 
kind of to squeeze through but then we have this little dessert bar in the back the coffee shop we put up a bread banner uh lights on the wall a few fans on the top by the back door we have the hanging shelf with the back door the only entrance we have the hanging shelf I think it is just the cutest, quaintest little cafe, and it gives a feel for what we're going to do with the restaurant, I think. It's a little little more upscale cafe, but definitely, definitely cute. I'm hoping Lottie likes it. Let's see what she has to say. How are things going? I am finished. So let's decide who'll be working here. Oh, absolutely. Okay, I'll go call the cafe staff. Wait, before we do this, we need to give our new cafe a name. If you have any ideas, I want to hear them. Or if you don't right now, that's okay. We can name it later. Uh, let's name it. What are we thinking? I think we will name it... Bubbly. I like it. I like it. You definitely want to name it Bubbly, the Bubbly Cafe? Yes, I think it's cute. Great, we've got ourselves a name. Oh, look at how cute! Their little cafe uniforms on. And everybody's enjoying it, and it looks so nice. So cute. Oh, look, Deirdre came all the way from Funland. I keep forgetting she has a vacation house here now. So she's just hanging. I love it. I think this is exactly what a cafe should look like. Some single seating, some buddy seating, a big giant communal table. I think it's great. Please welcome your new staff. I also found some customers to take the place for a spin. I can't believe how gorgeous this cafe turned out to be. It's going to look so good in photos. And speaking of photos, once you're done, let's meet outside and get a celebratory photo. See you there. I love it. I think it looks so great. Everybody seems happy. They've got their food. Look, you can even go and work the register. Oh, it's cute. I'm happy with it. Let's go take a photo. What's up? Let's take that photo. Well, let's head outside the beachfront dining area. Should be ready by now. I'm excited to see it. And now, we're gathered here to take a special celebratory photo of Bubbly. They all look so happy, and look at the little dining area. Thank you very much. With the new cafe open and ready for business, our island is on the map. Yay, Bubbly! I just know we'll keep growing. Alright, we need to hear from the person in charge of decorating Bubbly. Poppy, a few words. We did it, team. Thank you. Next up, a comment from Nico and Wardell, who worked on the beachfront dining area. Oh, um, I think it'd be nice if the cafe gets lots of visitors. I'm not used to speaking in public. Aw, oh, Nico. Mordell, happy to help. He's a, he's a man of very few words. Lottie, thank you both very much. And last but not least, let's take that celebratory photo. I think that looks good. It came out lovely, but... What do you think of the photo, Poppy? Let's take another one. Okay, we'll do a retake then. They all look so cute. That's better. I like that better. I think it came out lovely, but how do you feel about this one? Perfect. I agree, it's perfect too. That'll do it. Safe travels, everyone. Welcome back. Our little eatery is bustling and it's only the first day. 
It surely helps that everything on the menu sounds amazing. Seriously, I had a hard time keeping my tummy from grumbling while we were taking that photo. Oh, Nico's so cute. If only I could stay as calm, cool, and collected as Wardell. <laughs> I was hungry too. Aww. I guess that makes three of us. I can hardly stand how delicious everything smelled. Oh, we should all go to the cafe together as customers and just relax sometime soon. My treat. Oh, thanks, Lottie. Yeah, that'd be so much fun. Thanks, Lottie. You bet. Oh, that was fun to daydream for a moment. Now it's back to serious business, like your paycheck. I know how hard you worked on this, and I'm hoping this feels like a generous reward, Poppy. So without further ado, please accept our 25,000 pokey. Thank you. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten you two. Nico Wardell, I have a nice bonus for all your work on the beachfront dining area. Thank you all for your hard work. Uh, I'm just so pleased to get another business off the ground. Everyone looks so happy. It was a great reminder about why we do what we do. Bringing a smile to someone's face is everything. She's so sweet. I'm so glad we all got to experience that together. <laughs> These are tears of joy, everyone. Pure joy. She's so cute. Oh, I almost forgot. Now that we're done with the cafe, we can build a restaurant at any time. I'm hope are hoping we can collaborate again, but there's no rush. Just let me know when you're ready to get started. And who knows? If we keep building our vacation home business, maybe even more opportunities will arise. It's so exciting. Our vision for this paradise is really coming to life. Aww. Okay, do you want to call it a day or do you want to keep working a bit longer? Uh, let's work a little longer. Great, it's always a good idea to chat with folks who are visiting our island and talk up the business. Good luck. All right. Let's head outside and see if we can do some vacation homes to go along with our cafe. All right, let's see... I want to feel the breath of spring as I nap in a field. Oh, I love that idea. Is anybody else over here? I want to research the physics of muscle building. He doesn't look like a muscle kind of guy. Renee, I miss the time I spent hanging out in empty lots. Aw, I gotta show everyone how good I am at playing games. Oh. Is it too much to ask for a simple stronghold? I'm... I'm feeling spring. Let's see... Sally! Hi there, I'm Sally. You design vacation homes, right? You know I've been looking for a vacation home on one of the islands around here. Could you help me? Absolutely, let's chat, Sally. Oh, that's wonderful. I feel relieved to have a professional helping me out with this. Let's get started. Thanks for your time, Nutmeg. Oh my goodness. I think I'd like for my vacation home to look something like this. Okay, so these are our must-haves. Those are going to be interesting to work in. A napping field. Oh, that's very nice. I really like your concept. Alright, now the next step is for you to choose an island for the client, Puppy. There's so many. But this is the one. It's got little butterflies around it. It's, I mean, it's not very field-esque, but, um, yeah, I, I think that's the one I want. Ooh. That's, that's open. No, I'm gonna go with our original pick. I love it. Let's go. Seems like a lovely spot. I can't wait to say it in per or see it in person, Nutmeg. Now, Sally, we found an excellent location for you, but you'll need to see it for yourself before we begin. They always say it, and they always love it. Poppy, please lead Sally to the site, and best of luck. Look at the butterflies! I love it. 
So this is where I'll be vacationing, huh? It's like a dream come true. I can't wait to see the finished home. Well, I'll leave it to you. I appreciate it, and I appreciate you too. I, Sally, you're so cute. A nabbing field, we picked the perfect yard. I mean, look at these butterflies. It's just like a springtime out here, which means we need to get this yard springy, and I have a few ideas, so let's see what we can come up with. All right, we came up with a pretty simple springy yard, lots of picket fencing, flowers, simple hammock and picnic basket, little gardens everywhere. Um, she wanted the rose bed included in what we were doing, and I thought how cute was that as like a flower garden centerpiece instead of being used as a bed. So we added that. We have a little bike down waiting for her if she wants to go cruising around. There's tons of butterflies. We put in a couple pairs trees because I think they look great a tiny little path and I think it's the perfect spring yard for the perfect little spring house let's head inside and see what we can come up with there all right it is a simple inside like it always is we have the flower table still to use and the flower petals we'll see how we can integrate or <laughs> integrate into integrate this into a springtime nappy comfortable room for her so i'm gonna go ahead brainstorm fiddle around see what we come up with i think we have come up with a very spring like nap time kind of vacation home for sally you walk in, you kind of have your main living area here with cute little couches. I love the mush lamps. I know they're not necessarily springtime, but I love the white light that they give off. Lots of pink using the cherry blossom wall, the pink stools, little TV area. You walk in, just a cute little area with plants, some music, more light. Then we used some of the room dividers and we did like an actual kitchen this time and I thought it was really cute because I wanted to work in that table in kind of a way but not have it be too much of a thing and I decided why not work around it as like a focal point <laughs> so turned it into like a kitchen table, added lots of pink kitchen accessories, some plants, a wood burning stove, some sinks, I thought that was really cute. And then to make it that relaxing spring atmosphere she was going for, we created this little relaxing bathtub bathroom for her. She's got the shower, the bath, her magazine, some flowers, wall decorations, simple wall or ceiling lights just for calming light. And I think it looks great. This is definitely a relaxing spring home. Let's see what Sally has to say. So how is my vacation home coming along? Is it ready yet? It's ready. Oh, how lovely. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all the time and effort you put into this. You've made me so happy, Nutmeg. I love watching them walk through a napping field. I mean, this vacation home is so serene and calm. I just, oh, look how happy she is. She loves it. And she's playing in the petals. How cute. I love it. I think this one is one of my favorites so far. It turned out way better than I had hoped. It's just so calm. Thank you so much. I'd never be able to make my room this nice if I did it myself, Nutmeg. Oh, and if you have time before you head back, would you take some photos of my vacation home? Yes, I'll take photos. I admit I'm a bit nervous about being caught in any of the photos, but still take any photos you like. Oh, I love it. I'm just so happy with the way that it turned out. Let's go ahead and snap a photo. There, we'll get rid of everybody. But this one turned out great. I'm really happy with it. 
There's our photo. Bring Sally back and let's head home. Oh, she's sitting. Oh, I'm glad she likes it. What's on your mind? I'm heading back. All you don't say, we'll make sure you stop by for a chat sometime soon, Nutmeg. Welcome back. I've been waiting for you. No, oh, before I forget, here's 12,000 pokey. Thanks again for a job well done. Thank you. With that settled, now I can share the good news. I love good news. Paradise Planning is teaming up with the one and only Happy Home Academy. Eh, uh, what? Oh, I'm sure you've heard of the Happy Home Academy, obviously. You must have seen their home evaluations in your mailbox each Sunday, yes. The Happy Home Academy is offering a service to share design portfolios. You can use the internet to go on tours of vacation homes or facilities others have designed. I'm sure there's a lot you can learn from browsing design portfolios posted by other folks. Uh, yeah. I can give you access to this service through the Happy Home Network. Let's get your app updated now. This is exciting. This means we can go and see what other people have done. Okay, you should be all set up. And if you're up for it, I think it'd be great to fun to post the vacation homes and facilities you work on too. Pick out the ones you're really proud of and post them through the Happy Home Network app. Okay, do you want to call it a day or do you want to keep working for a bit longer? I think that we're going to call it a day. We got a really nice house done. We got the cafe up and running, which means the next time we come, we can get the restaurant up and running. This island's really starting to pick up. We're going to finish for today. All right, take it easy and rest up. All right, before we end, though, I always got to head over here and see what's for sale. It says... For a mining car. Yeah, we're buying it. That's so cool. I love it. We have pretty much everything else that's there. So we're going to call it a day. I think it was a successful day. And I'm actually really excited to check out this new app. And go see what everybody else has been doing on the island for their houses. I mean, that's a great way to get ideas. And also to give credit to people that come up with amazing things. So I'm excited to do that. I'm going to go ahead and end it off today. I want to thank you guys so much for coming along with me, for watching me design these awesome buildings, for liking and subscribing, and we're definitely going to be back with more.